Good morning, Jody. I got dressed up for you this morning. I like it when you get dressed up for me. Um, so before we get started on on Donald and other things in the news, you have a documentary on Peacock um, that is very intriguing. It's yeah. called Who Killed Robert Juan? Is that how you pronounce his last name? Yeah, so, Who Killed Robert Juan. Yeah, what's what's the premise so people know to go and, and start subscribing and to check Peacock? check it out. I started watching it. It's really, really good. Yeah, how much time do you have? So <laughs> this was um, boiled down to its essence, three well-to-do, influential, connected men who lived in a very high-end um, home on Swan Street, Northwest Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. had a friend of theirs, a young attorney, wonderful young man, Robert Wan, who was general counsel at Radio Free Asia, spend the night at their house as a matter of work convenience uh -huh. um, and he ended up dead in their guest room in the most inexplicable circumstances i saw in my 30 years as a prosecutor wow. Wow. i worked the case for years the three guys in the home would not tell us what happened they thought they'd gotten away with it so i said not this time and i indicted them all for covering up the murder of robert juan conspiracy to obstruct justice, obstruction of justice, and tampering with evidence in this case is an odyssey like none other that I handled in my career. Mm -hmm. Most importantly, there's a tip line. And after people view this, I am hopeful that one or all three of these people have run their mouths over time Probably. and people will drop a dime and help us solve the mystery of who killed Robert Wan. Oh. I look forward to it. It's, yeah. This is my kind of show. I love this stuff. So um, I'm going to sit down this weekend and just binge it. Uh, right. I think we need to reboot <laughs> Unsolved Mysteries with Glenn. There you go. Uh, th yeah, we'll reboot it. You could be our new that. Robert Stack. Yes, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Emergency number one. A friend of ours is bleeding in our house. Who was the person that stabbed him? Investigators, forensics experts, true crime jocks. Nobody has seen anything like this one. Robert Wan decided to spend the night with three friends. We have their story that an intruder broke in, and Robert was stabbed three times. One, two, three. Bang. The story just took off from there. The detectives walked into a surreal scene. The level of depravity is stunning. There were needle marks on his neck. Something was very off. You don't take three to the chest, lay there and die. That's what makes the story so maddening. This case has more questions than it has answers. There's no evidence of struggle. There was almost no blood on the scene. Where is the missing blood? When I die, the first question I'm going to ask God, who killed Robert Wong? <laughs> 